Jesus is my rock. That's how I roll. I am on my way to my dentist appointment. I have chipped teeth, you guys. Chipped teeth. Three of them. I'm pretty sure it's three, Booch. No, yeah. we have the sun popping through after the bomb cyclone. Yeah, we, we had really a big scare yesterday. We thought for sure it was going to be torrential rains for three days and mudslides. All of it, but... Oh, there was evacuation. Thank you, God. Oh, dental. That's him. Okay, King that... King Dental. That sounds really, like... That sounds like a Groupon dentist. King Dental? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Am I at that age where my teeth are just chipping apart? I, that's what I'm worried about. It, it, it's not one, it's three. I think it's because I'm just chewing on things that are too hard. Don't say anything, just stay out of that one. <laughs> you and your mind, the way you think. <laughs> that is not going in the video. This is Dr. King and he is the king. I think uh, you deserve another parking spot out there. You only have two, you deserve three. I know, I agree. Yes. He just gave me a couple little, uh, not even fillings. What are they? It was a filling, more, it, more like a sealant. A sealant. A sealant just to cover up a chip spot. It, it was, like it was very, micro very, very painful and I'm wondering where you were. I was uh, 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 checking out your latest Cal Preach video. Sure. <laughs> no, it wasn't painful. He's the best. Just the final polish and we're going to be out of here. Guys, this is my new merch. I like it. Follow the peace. I like it. Follow the peace of my tooth. <laughs> no longer there. Thank you for joining me. <clears throat> You're such a good husband. You're the dental fairy. I'm the tooth fairy? The dental fairy. The tooth fairy. <laughs> dental fairy. How many of you out there go to the dentist with your wife and then you get out and you're walking to the car and the phone rings and it's your wife and she says oh there's a charge <laughs> so i'm wondering literally for the last two months you don't carry your wallet or any of your credit cards whenever you're with me because when i'm with you you are my wallet right but it's a joint account so if it comes out of your account or my account it's our account right but it's one less thing to carry so it's one less thing to carry. You're not carrying your own cards again. <laughs> and you were surprised. You said to me, there's a charge. <laughs> you just went to the dentist and had three chipped teeth fixed. Three. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and she's calling me and said, come back and please pay for this. Because there's a charge. <laughs> this is what I'm dealing with, guys. I know. I know. I know. Honey, there's do you need a, a diaper change? I'm turning around on me now. <laughs> No car, okay? here's a charge, tooth fairy. <laughs> Dental fairy. You stop to see if there are pedestrians coming? Your seatbelt's not on. All right, okay, babe. You're gonna take your big deep breaths now, right? Breathe in. Hold it. Phil. <laughs> no, hold it. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. The courage. <laughs> to change. God, I've got insanity to reject the things I cannot accept. <laughs> to accept the things I cannot change. The courage. Courage. To change the things I can. Wisdom. To know the difference. Amen. Okay, now just take some time to connect with our mega rabbi as I go start your turkey BLT. I'm really excited. I'm going to show you guys how to make my black. Mm -hmm. You know, it's organic, it's sugar-free. So, my maple syrup, and I am dousing it. So much for sugar-free. <laughs> You're dousing it in maple syrup. I'm in triage. We just realized that we have no avocado. You'll start to notice that the bacon is actually sucking up the maple syrup. I like to sprinkle lemon pepper on my turkey bacon. It gives it a little tang. Uh, I personally like to throw my toast in to the toaster, not to start toasting, but I like to do it right at the very beginning so that I don't have to just worry about it when the time comes. I can just boop. Okay, so now I take a nice heat and then I do the old spread. I think I failed to mention that I do open face sandwiches most of the time. I get my glaze out, I glaze away. I don't put too much because remember, there's already a little bit of sweetener on the turkey. And then to give it a little more tang, we'll just do a splash of the balsamic. Proceed to put the turkey on the bread. Okay, so you can see, on the bread. Okay, so we go one, two. Two slices. And two I'm high so high to the proud rescue. Of you. Thank you so much. You're the avocado caper. Capers when you steal them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were like the superhero caper. No, it doesn't work that way. Open it and 
voila. Spread those bad boys. If you put the top of the avocado back on top of the other piece, like a puzzle, you will not have a brown avocado the next day. You will preserve it, and you just put it right in the fridge like that. Separating the lettuce. <laughs> there. That's how my cooking show table is looking. What do you have to drink, my dear sweet love? Honesty. Honesty, Honesty. is such Again, no, we didn't do it well. We don't know the words. Honesty is such a lonely word. Every something is so untrue. Every what is so untrue? I want to. I want to figure this out. Every man. Every okay. man. Right, here we go. Taste test. Mmm. Forget about it. Mmm. Oh, thank you, God. Thank you, God. We pray. We thank you for, for this time together and all the laughs we've had today. And, and we just love you, Jesus. We're so grateful for you. You are the mega rabbi. You are our father. You are our Messiah. You are our friend. And we just know that you are the son of God. And we thank you for that. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. <laughs> me hungry. Me eat. We had a real breakthrough the other night. We went to a couple's therapy session that wasn't really bad. It no, was, it was better for you. It wasn't. It wasn't a home run at all, but it wasn't like a disaster. We weren't like fighting or anything. It was. It was productive. We we came out of there. Yeah. It was. We felt good. We made some progress. Mm -hmm. But it was a little bit of a bumpy road getting there. Mm -hmm. And then that night, I had like a breakdown. I just started, you know, crying and crying and crying to you. Get some things off my chest about, yeah. you know, the kind of pressure that we're feeling in life, like all of you guys. As I was leaving her a message about, it had something to do with Brooke. And I was asking <laughs> questions like, was this taken care of? Was that taken care of? I was giving her like, well, she hates the list. We gotta make sure we get this done, that done, the other thing done. Mm -hmm. And she sent this message back. She sent me this. Shut up forever. Please shut your mouth. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Shut up forever. Close your mouth right now. Nobody cares. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah, that's what I got when I was just trying to be a dad. And I appreciate how well we're getting along and how hard we're working and trying. And yeah, I love that I have a husband that can cry, just be real with me and tell me what's going on. And I'm not a person who's afraid to share their feelings or to be emotional, not at all. No. I wrote a song where I talk about, you know, tears and what they mean and what they represent and stuff. Yeah. Don't you feel like when you're expressing yourself through tears that it's stuff that the heart just has trouble saying? It helps you say the words, I think. I know, but a lot of times it helps you get to the words. It helps you express the, the right. Yeah. The right. That's a great song. I love it. I adore you. You're precious. You're a gift. You're my angel. You too, Laura. I love you so much. I do. <laughs> she just blinked her eyes like five times. It's a movie cheat. When your eyes get welled up with tears, when you blink a few times to try to get the, the tear out, <laughs> trying to get it to run down your cheek in your close up. She's trying to do it right now, and she can't do it. right now i'm fully crying i don't see one tear on your cheek how do you get mascara to run if you're not crying where's it running i don't see a tear i'm crying i just can't manufacture a tear now we're gonna have a crying contest i win <laughs> there's nothing there <laughs> there's no tears to make any face you put barely anything in your eyes either give me a second <laughs> oh 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 you get to take it from your trip. I did not. <laughs> Please, Bill, seriously, look at me. Hold my hand. You can talk to me about absolutely anything. Mm -hmm. Don't get loud. Just deliver it in a loving way. Okay, I'm working towards that. My goal is to get better for that in 23. That's a really good New Year's mm -hmm. resolution for both of us. Mm -hmm. That I can be able to receive it and that you can feel free enough to share it. Mm -hmm. But it's a lot about, you know, men don't understand that it's about delivery. If you come out, you've come out of the gate like really strong and loud voice and 
you're trying to communicate something, but you're putting me on the defense or, or upsetting me or sending a chill down my spine, that's not gonna be a great way to communicate. I think that's super important. That's in here what you were saying. <laughs> not telling me. Hi, babe. Uh, uh, hi, say hi to my cow creatures, please. Nope. What's your shirt all about? Oh, the, the warriors. Interrupted by life. That was a really nice lunch. Felt so good to talk to Bill. I think one thing that he didn't mention was the fact that, you know, his mom passed away just really like five months ago, which is really fresh. It's really, really a fresh wound. And I feel like it's sometimes it's strange. Like you'll lose somebody and then you actually won't start to grieve them until months after they're gone. I think that might be part of what's going on here. I loved Carol so much. She was such a trip. She always had her love, love lenses on. I miss her so much. He really was literally weeping and I don't see him that way very often. I said to him, I said, you know, hon, these mountains that are in front of you, they're not there for you to just stare at them. That mountain is there because you have to start climbing it. You have to start dealing with it. And once you get to the peak, you're gonna be able to look down and be like, you can make it. So if you start climbing that mountain now and you get to the peak, you're gonna be able to look down and reach a hand down and help somebody else who's lost a parent to be able to process it better. I understand and I identify with that feeling of just wanting the pain to stop. You just feel like, all right, enough already, God. And you feel like you've been walking in eight feet of snow and you fall to the ground and you have your tantrum, you have your good cry. Then you get back up and you pick up those poles and you keep plowing away and you keep walking through the eight feet of snow. And then little by little, it's five feet of snow and then it's four feet of snow and then it's three feet of snow. And the next thing you know, you're walking on flat ground and you are at the other side of it. I had this conversation with Billy. I just said, you know what? I love you. You are experiencing completely normal feelings. There's nothing weird about what you're feeling or wrong. I truly believe that there's an atonement and that there is a sanctification process taking place when we are walking through really, you know, intense, painful stuff. And the word atonement itself, when you break it down, is at one mint. It's God bringing us into his presence. We have to have God-sized prayers. Like how big is your God today? Truly, how big is your God today? Trust me, little tiny prayers still shift the atmosphere. Any type of prayer is great. But there is something to be said for God-sized prayers. How big are you willing and daring to pray today? Pray big. Why not? Why not pray big? Prayer is still the answer. Thousands and thousands of years of people praying, people still believe in it. And you know why? Because it works. If people knew how powerful their prayers were, they would be on their knees 24 hours a day. If Jesus thought prayer was powerful and could move mountains, then guys, I trust him. Sometimes you have to push. Pray until something happens. I call the Lord our suffering savior because he suffered. He would never make us do anything that he wouldn't be willing to do himself or that he didn't already do himself. He can sympathize with what we're walking through, guys. Take comfort in that today. I just ask you all to continue to pray for Bill and just help him to be able to process his grief and to be able to get to the other side of it. Hopefully, there's a whole lot of Holy Spirit activation. Billy is such a philanthropist. He just loves helping other people. I just want to keep reminding him that the people who have suffered the most are the ones who make the greatest comforters. Even if it's painful and even if it just feels strenuous to work through emotions, even if you can't do it for you, just remember that like, if you work through this stuff, you're going to be able to help more people than you can even count because of your bravery and your courage to walk through. And it does take a commitment to say, no, I'm going to do this. It's going to it's gonna be rough and it's going to be a challenge, but I'm up for it. Bring it. Let's go. Oh, I wanted to mention my website was down 
for the entire holiday season and I'm so sorry. There was a glitch and I'm not really sure what was going on, but we got it all fixed. It's all taken care of and the merch code is Happy New Year. So if you wanna go onto my website, if you placed an order, you're gonna be reimbursed, but if you wanna replace your order, go ahead and do it now. Merch code is Happy New Year. Keep Jesus on tap today. I, I love you all so much. And remember, the grass is not always greener on the other side. It's greener where you water it. Peace of.